Only two days remaining in the Birchmont as we're getting down to the best of the best. Four golfers entered today in the women's tournament and eight in the men's. Past champions in the field, those who were just short in years past, all vying for a coveted spot on championship Saturday. Sunny skies for today's competition. We'll start with the women. Annie Nelson taking on Haley Tillette. Tillette trying to roll in a birdie just off the green on the 12th hole. Gets it right up there close. That's a tap in. She would win the hole to move three up, but she wasn't done. Trying for a birdie on the 13th. Good line, good pace. She would beat Nelson four and three. In the other semifinal matchup, Emily Israelson taking on Abby Cal. Israelson with her approach on 10 sticks it to about 15 feet. She two putt to win the hole and move six up on the par 3 11th. Looks like she finally might make a bogey, but she drains the par putt. Just sneaks in there. She cruises over Calm to take it seven and six. So it's Tillette and Israelson in the finals. They've met before in the past in this tournament. Haley winning in 2015 and Emily winning the matchup in 2014. Israelson won the whole thing in 2016, while Tillette has lost to Katie Sheets in the 2015 finals. On the men's side, everyone in the field trying to take down the two-time defending champ Andrew Israelson. Matt Scarperud had that challenge today, but Izzy was just too much for him. He cozies it up on the 10th and win the match 5-3. Danny Menton took on Toby Paul Messino. Menton with a one-shot lead on 18. The approach looking for just something on the dance floor. Clutch. He wins the match one up to move to move on to the semi or yet the semifinals. Nick Schaefer taking on Jim Foss. Foss looking for his third straight finals appearance, but Schaefer, the 2015 champ, was too much. Birdie here, he wins it two and one. Finally, the tightest match of the day, Chris Kerb against Lucas Johnson. Kerb rolling in the birdie on seven to get back to two down. He would build a two-shot lead on the back nine, but Johnson with the eagle on 15 sinks it to take a one-shot lead. But Johnson would bogey on 18, and then he bogeys the first playoff hole. This was for par. Kerb gets the win and advances. The men play both their semifinals and finals tomorrow with the semis teeing off bright and early. Andrew Israelson will try and become the first man to win in three straight years since Russ Simonson did it back in the late 1980s. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.